Alright, time to play some Reshif. Oh, you know what I should have done before I turned this back on? I was like, actually see where I was last time. Um, I was almost done with the game, I think. The Egypt exhibit. Let's see, there's something over here. No? Was I supposed to talk to that girl? No one over here. Alright, I'll go back to town. Domino Pier, China, Canada. Clock station. Sup, yo. Must ask Paradox where Pegasus Castle is. Paradox is in China. Huh, should just ask you in the first place. That was actually like exactly what I needed to know. <coughs> I'm Paradox. I am the Sage of all Duelist. I have heard many things about you. However, there's something different about you. You're not who I expected. Enough with the weird introductions. Let's cut to the chase. Where's Pegasus? Why do you want to know? We have to stop the Dark Being at all costs. Rush up the Dark Being. If the three Egyptian God Corps are even gain their power, it may be possible to thwart Rush's grand design. Rush's is like a really shitty ritual card, so. Any of the god cards would be more than enough to take it out. Yeah, so tell us where he's at. Patience, young one. Patience. But the winged dragon of Ra that you hold. That card will not help you at Pegasus Castle. The winged dragon of Ra has not yet awoke. That's right. It's a spear mode, right? It must restore its power. There must be someone who knows how to wake it. Hmm. You must restore power. It's in the TV show, it was all that one dude with the hair, which explains nearly everyone in that show. Merrick. I want to say Merrick. I'm pretty sure it was Merrick. Where would Merrick be? Because this is supposed to take place after Battle City. And if I know my Yu-Gi-Oh correctly, that's uh, about as far as my knowledge goes is Battle City. Because after that I stopped caring. Although I should probably get into 5Ds. I heard like the first 50 episodes of that are not half bad. Then afterwards it gets ridiculous. I actually watched some of the GX too. The storyline with U-Bell seemed like it was pretty cool. Let's see, maybe I should just go to the clock tower. Like where there's the most stuff at. Talk to this girl. Did you meet Paradox? Well... I see. Only two men had deciphered the ancient hieroglyphics needed to awaken Ra. The first one is Kaiba, but he is. He went after Mokuba. Then we just have to meet the other guy. The other is my brother, Merrick. Did I say Merrick? Pretty sure I did. The winged dragon of Ra belongs to Merrick. Merrick is living a new life in Egypt. Please see him there. Is Egypt open? Oh, nope. <laughs> Master Merrick. That's not Merrick, that's Odin. Ha. It has been too long. Greetings, Pharaoh. Welcome, powerful duels. Hee hee, powerful duels, huh? I love hearing every time. Odin, how are you? I am well, as you see. Ha ha, yeah, you're looking good, my friend. Let's bring you here. We're here to see Merrick. We have to talk to him. It is most unfortunate. I can't permit you to see him. That isn't the answer we're looking for, but that's not right. Uh, let's decide in a duel, bitch. I guess it cannot be helped. I will not allow you to see duels. Let's duel. I love how everything in this universe is solved with duels. That's like... That's how life should be. Everything should be decided by duels. Then... I'd get all the bitches. Let's see, activate effect. Uh, will clone himself. There we go. Torn to tribute is like mere force in this game. Wait, can I have anything better in my hand? Toadmaster is pretty cool, I guess. But Doron is cool too. Plus, I have a mirror force right here. Turn end. I really don't see myself losing. If I remember correctly from the last time I played this game, my deck's pretty OP. Ha, huh, I only take 600 damage. Bitch. Dark Hole is active. All monsters. Oh my god. That sucks. What a waste of torrental tribute. 
Swords Revealing Light. Oh my god, Swords Revealing Light. That card's actually a pain in the ass in this game since Mystical Space Typhoon doesn't exist. Ooh, ooh, Trap Master. That could help me survive for a turn. Or Toad Master allows me to bring out two people because I have to survive for three turns because of the stupid swords. Trap Master allows me to bring out like a wire tap. Really nice uh, trap. In fact, Acid Trap Hulk, yeah. It's the one that it does 2,000 or more attack, right? 3,000 or more, yeah, that's a really good one. Alright, that's good. This guy has a lot of good cards. Butts his turn. Oh wow, he didn't do shit. Guess he has like nothing but fucking spell cards in his hand. Nice, I can bring out a raw on my next turn. Considering Acid Trap Hole can stop anything. It's pretty ridiculous. None of these guys can attack, can they? Yeah, they can't. Turn in. Whatever. I get raw my next turn. Not raw, Slifer. God cards in this game are... Uh... Like, super OP. Tribute. Tribute. Like, they're immune to everything and can't be destroyed. <laughs> Plus, this guy gets, like, ridiculous amounts of attack. Dragon Capture Jar? What? What? I'm supposed to be immune to everything. A macrobe vase that is imbued with whatever that prevents all dragons in the field from moving. Oh my god. Well, he can't attack me at least. Hmm. I thought god cards were immune to everything. Apparently not. I guess they just can't be destroyed then. They can still be Dragon Capture Jar. Shit, and he got some annoying permanent effect. Ghoul will carry off all monsters in the grave. Slifer's effect activated. Okay, this is gonna be a long duel. Because I have nothing to get rid of that Dragon Capture's Jar. That's another continuous effect. It's just going to be really annoying, but I do have Ancient Lamp. Ancient Lamp is really good. He allows me to bring out a Lejeune, 1800 attack, and can attack this turn, because that's super legit. Hmm, Bear Trap. Let's use that. Ugh, Slifer, you're so annoying. Uh, attack? Nice. This guy has, like, no... Oh, that's right, in the anime, this dude had, like, the all trap card deck. So he has, like, trap monsters. I forgot about that. That was awesome. Slifer the Sky Dragon. Because you see, I had to sneak and wake up earlier than everyone and watch Yu-Gi-Oh in my room. Because I wasn't allowed to have anything to do with Yu-Gi-Oh when I was little. Which just made me love the game for the rest of my life. Something about not being able to do something that makes you just want to do it even more. Hmm, Guilford. Guilford, Guilford, Guilford. What does he do again? Blah blah blah. Demise can power down all enemy monsters on the foe's field, so when he dies, he powers down all their monsters. That's cool, I guess. Well, I could tribute Slifer since he's not doing shit because of the Dragon Capture Jar. It's kind of annoying me. What? Oh, I can't do shit with him. That sucks. Can I use his effect again? I don't think you can. Ugh, Slifer is so annoying. Let's bring out Guilford. Slifer's stupid effect to be annoying goes off. Attack with Lajin. And then Guilford. Okay, just need to survive one more turn. This guy hasn't brought out a single monster yet, though, but he's had enough, a lot of really annoying cards. Okay, let's just speed this up. Monster Reborn, he brought out my dude. Slifer, blah blah blah, Acid Trap Hole, got destroyed. He didn't even use the effect? Wow, what a dummy. Okay, uh, Ancient Lamp. I'm just gonna... Okay, there we go. 
effect, activate, bring out another Lajin. Now I can go into a rank 4 summon and bring out Beelzebub to blow up the field. So that won't work since I have huge card advantage over him. Oh, I should just attack with this dude. That has 2200 attack and I would have been done already. This is an annoying deck that doesn't do shit. 600 Domino, Mr. Gold Beast, Pound for Scorpion, that can and blah blah blah. That can envelop a monster on the foe's field to power itself up. Huh. So you can steal one of your opponent's monsters to gain 500 attack. That's actually really good. Gah, what's strength and determination? Why do you need to speak with Master Merrick so urgently? Let them enter, Odin. Master Merrick, are you certain? Of course, I don't mind. Please forgive my rudeness. Please enter. Card games solve everything. Card games are life. Father, mother, and all those people harmed, I hope that the sun rises upon your spirits. How lame. Like a hippie now. Hello, it has been a long time. Master Barrick, forgive us for disturbing your rituals. It does not matter, they are always welcome, even if my departed father would have welcomed them. Your father was a huge asshole, if I remember correctly. Merrick, we need your help. We have to awaken Butts, the winged dragon of Rome. Tell me more. So that explains why my sister left in a hurry. It makes sense now. I understand what you seek. Great, then how about getting it right away? I will not awaken Ra so easily. I believe you know why. Ra is the most powerful of the Egyptian god cards. You felt its mysterious strength firsthand. Actually... Obelisk is the most powerful of the Bagad cards, because he can't be targeted by effects. What's this? It's Ra's judgment, actually. It's more than that. Feel the wrath of the angry and Egyptian god card. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's awesome. Look at all that lightning and shit. Yeah, you're right. Ra steers the scary. So I have a proposal, but... I will test you and determine if you're worthy of using Ra. If you fail to defeat me in a duel, then you are unfit to bear the winged dragon of Ra. Alright, it's time to duel. That's cool, yo. I'll just take you out like I do everyone else, because my deck is awesome. Hmm, actually this isn't a really great opening hand. I have none of my multipliers out. But I have lots of ways to stop him from attacking me. So the pure player's life points will be restored by 2,000. Damn, that's a lot. Oh, cool. Vampire Lord. Hmm. <coughs> Details. This card is at the start of the grave at the end of the turn is resurrected. There must be room for it in your field. If he's destroyed, he comes back to life. That's a pretty good effect. But I don't want to get rid of this guy to do it. Eh, whatever. And attack. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Turn Endo. Damn, monster with high defense. Ah, <gasps> shit. This is the fact I'm screwed. Oh, he's not gonna do shit. Never mind. This guy's dumb. The UI in this game is retarded. I swear. Okay, Doron, activate Doron. It's a fact. To be ballin'. <laughs> <laughs> Darkness approaches. All cards on the own field are turned face down. Oh. Shit, I thought it was that other card for a reason. For some reason, that got rid of all my opponent's cards. Well, whatever. Uh, let's get rid of this guy. He's actually a really bad guy. Because he can destroy monsters. He has a really good effect. Once per turn, you can just destroy one of your opponent's monsters for like no cost or anything. You just can't attack that turn. That would be an amazing effect in a really good Yo game. I dare you try to attack me. Can I use his effect again? Oh, I can't. Even after I turned him face down. 
Ah, uh, lame. Lame. Okay, tricky door on. Bring out YZ tank. And. Attack this guy? Shit. Well, I don't really know what I was expecting. Oh! Biscuits. I almost said a bad word. I'm ashamed of myself. Actually, no, there's nothing I could have attacked. All those monsters are aqua. Oh, crap. What did he attack with? Stupid humanoid slime. Stop attacking me. <laughs> My vampire lord comes back. Should have attacked him second. Ha 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 ha. Vampire lord comes back to the grave. At full power. Ooh, Jinzo. I would have loved Jinzo my other turn. See, Jinzo actually works like the real Jinzo that he negates all trap cards. It's pretty good. Seven color fish is also pretty good. 1800 attack, no tributes. Amazing. Turn end. Damn, Vampire Lord. You're totally groovy. Ooh. Uh, effect. Would you like to use Revival Gems effect to be groovy? Whoa, what card was that? I kinda wish it survived so I could read it. I know the real card of that in the actual game sucks ass. But in here, get cards that suck ass are actually not half bad. So that would have been totally groovy, as the kids like to say. Tribute. I keep up with slang, even though I'm old. Oh, crap. Oh, that doesn't work like it does in the other game. <laughs> in the real game, he could have destroyed my Jinzo with that. Everyone, it's destroyed by... It's just destroyed. You get destroyed a monster on the field. Pretty good, even though I destroyed him. 800 Domino, Cosmo Queen was... Whoa, Cosmo Queen. A woman of distinguished demeanor and enormous power. She is said to rule over all the stars and planets in the cosmos. Why the hell is it a divine type? Why does it cost so much to put in your deck? It's not even good. It's a vanilla card that requires two tributes and only 2,100 attack. I see. You have learned much from your previous duels. But I believe that you can control Wra. Well, of course. Makes you think I couldn't. Ra, wake him. Here's Ra. Ooh, I'm gonna put it in my deck. Uh. Trunk. Deck. Oh shit, I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, that's the button for it. Let's see, something to put them in for. Um, damn, I have a nice deck. Berserker Dragon? That's right, this dude was just taking up space anyway. So that I could add in the good cards later. Aw, oh, yeah. Raw attack mode. A dragon that has the power to cut its life points to one and hit the opponent with life points amount that it has lost. Yeah, that's a terrible effect. What you want to do is send this card to the grave to activate the reborn mode. You need cards to discard. And I have a nice little card that can discard in the form of the Z dragon, the tank card. I just passed it, actually. This card right here, YZ tank dragon. The machine that can left card in your own hand, yeah, you can discard it, go into its effect. Well, I put it in my deck, though. I thought I did. I guess I must have forgot. That sounds like something I'd do. Move to deck. Okay, okay. Yup, yup, Raw has awoken. Yeah, that's it, baby. The winged dragon of Raw is back in its glory. Unfortunately, no. 
What are you saying, Merrick? Have you forgotten? The Winged Dragon of Ra has one other form, its immortal form, the Phoenix Mode. I remember that, that's the scariest mode of them all. Yes, exactly. You know what, they should make like Ra cards for all of his modes, because the one they have now sucks ass. That I cannot do now. It is true that I woke up the third form in the past, however, that was a darkness world my heart. I have no idea how to awaken it now, there must be a secret to it. Yeah, send it to the grave, yo. You should blah blah blah, yada yada yada. I'm emo. Okay, let's go back. If you continue your quest and wait here to inform your progress, please visit us occasionally. I'm sure that you will please Master Mark. Please give him regards to Ishishu. Okay, so let's go back to the clock tower square. Talk to this girl. It appears that Merrick has awakened Raw. There is no time to waste. You must once again visit Paradox in China. He knows where Paradox's castle is. Find the location of the castle and stop the dark beam. Gotcha, yo. Just let me go save real quick. And restore my life points. Would you like to save? Your progress has been saved. Now I have two god cards. No obelisk, though. Obelisk is pretty legit. Let's see. Uh, I have to go to China, right? There it is. I have no idea who that dude is. Wing Dragon Raw is awakened, I see. We did exactly what you said, Pops. Now come on, where's the Pegasus height? Be patient. I've been living in the mountains for generations and I've become bored. I feel like playing a game. It's very simple. You have to first catch me, then duel me. If you win, I will tell you whatever you wish, but I won't be caught easily. Fa ha ha ha. Oh, you little bitch. What's up with that guy? Who knows? Let's go catch him. You will proceed no further without dueling me. Damn, I really know how to stretch this game out. Hmm. Oh, looks like I gotta go first. Oops, wrong card. Well, that's fine. Magic lamp into the best card ever. La Jin, the fucking mystical genie of the lamp. Can I attack my first turn? No. That would be cool if I could, though. That'd be totally unfair, but totally cool, too. All monsters on the foe's field have been destroyed. Ah, 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 ah. Alright, let's go Jinzo this time. And let's kill this bitch. Damn, he has like no life points. I seriously just won my third turn. Second turn. Third turn of the game. Trihorn Dragon was attained. Oh my god, what another shitty card. Most impressive, take this Karibo. Your path is clear, advance. Huh? Where are we? We went into that building, but anyway, let's keep moving. What? <laughs> Why the hell did it do that? Wow, I actually want to see what happened with that. Is that their way of just not having to make more rooms in this game, or was that like a time warp? Or something awesome like that. La Jeune has brings out. Actually, I don't really have any good cards in my hand to actually tribute for. Hmm. Turn endo. Card setto. Dark Flare Dragon. He's a fire type. I should be fine with La Jeune. Let's bring out another La Jeune. Two La Jeunes, then go into Arc Otter Knight and blow him up. As well as have some kind of protection against its effects. Just in case he does decide to destroy him. Damn, so close. It's my turn. Stop killing my genie. I only have so many life points before I have to go back and heal up since they don't reset after this. Megamorph is like so shit in this game. It only gives you 500 attack. Uh. Wait, that's airtight. I meant to use effect. Ha, ah, bitch. La Jin, dual victory. Your deck passing first by one. 100 domino. Tacrinosmos. Part that doesn't exist in real life. Gotcha. Most impressive. You deserve. Take this time, wizard. Your path is clear. Advance. Okay. Oh my god, it happened again. That's so weird. 
How many times do I have to beat this guy? Alright, let's see if I can beat him in two turns again. Looks like he went first this time. Pretty strong ass monster, too. Hmm, 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 hmm. How about I draw out a strong ass monster and let's see, an Earth. Ooh, I have the advantage over Thunder, actually. Bitch. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I just remembered. I was watching this show about. It's a really crappy show by this funny comedian. Where he's like doing a pretend uh, reality show. But like the plot points to it are so generic. Basically, he's trying to become famous, and everyone in there is super lame. But one of the girls, because they would like bleep out all cuss words, and she's like, "Oh, I don't give a fuck," and she says it for like a minute straight. And I thought that was super funny. <laughs> she does it like twice. Ah, oh, that show. Oh my god, it's so generic. It's so annoying. He has like this childhood friend who's super hot and then he has no idea that she's interested in him. And there's no way he could be that oblivious. And there's, oh, it's just so stupid. And then he's trying to get popular with the girls from high school. Even though they're like super generic TV high school people. Oh my god. I can't remember the name of that show. I just watched it today. I can't remember the name of the comedian either. Hmm, really bad reality show. Has some funny parts though, because that guy's hilarious. I wonder if they made him do that stupid message shit because it's a TV show. Will they try to make you learn life lessons like how to be part of a family? <laughs> My god, it's so stupid. <laughs> I can't believe I even watched two episodes of it. No, I do. That guy is really funny. I've seen like all of his stand-up material. Hmm, it sucks that they get such a shitty show though. Ancient Lamp. Oh, I should probably stop talking about that shitty fake reality TV show. Be more focused on beating this guy for the fourth time. Oh my god, he's so bad too. But he's probably not bad, it's just my deck's really good. Faith Bird has been obtained. Can I finally go through? Holy shit. Your path is clear. Advance. Seriously? What the fuck? Okay, I'm going to go and like, uh, save. I can't get past him. That's like the fourth time. Nope, nope, don't want to save again. I need to restore my life points. Let's see if this bitch knows what happened. <sighs> okay, maybe you have to beat him like five times or something. You will proceed no further. Okay, a time wizard. Damn, I have three fucking time wizards now. Here, how about we use one of these shitty cards as ante? Oh my god, that's so annoying. Direct damage. Spellcasters and fiends, fairy types, weaken, blah blah blah, who cares? Ooh, Winged Dragon of Raw. That's pretty good. Oh shit, what is La Jin? Effect. La Jin is shadow type. Shadow is good against the light. He's Dream. Dream is good against Shadow. I'm fucked if I attack. Shit, shoot, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Gosh darn it. Turn end. Will this mean I actually lose one of these matches? It can't be. Just because of that stupid type advantage. I refuse to give up. Activate effect. Come on, yes, got rid of the strong guy. Put down bear trap. Turn in, let's see if I hope I get into one of my multipliers on my next turn. Multiply, Karibo, oh shit. Look at all those Karibos. That's pretty ridiculous. 
ridiculous. Oh, I thought I was targeted on Doron. Doron activates his effect, brings out two Dorons. And this dude kills this bitch. Now he has are all those stupid little Karibos on the field. Oh, crap, they contribute those in this game. Ooh. Usually you can't tribute those guys, but you can in this game. Huh. There's 3,400 attack. It's a normal monster, though, only shadow type. This dude is fiend type. Fiend is good against dreams. Shadow is good against light. Uh, what's good against shadow, though? Dreams. I need a dream card. I have a shadow card. Shadow on shadow. Some shadow action, or I can go into a door on. Another door on. Hmm. And bring out Ron next turn as long as he doesn't destroy more than one of them. Alright, let's try that. Hopefully, he'll summon a monster that's within Bear Trap's range. Because I can't take that guy out right now. In fact, Doron multiplies. Okay, let's get rid of these Karibos. I hope he summons a monster with less than 1500 attack. Hmm, that's 1500, right? <gasps> Shit, I forgot to check. Oh, yes. We can bring out Raw. I was all worried for nothing. Damn, I almost lost. Holy shit. Look how low I am right now. Uh, tribute. 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 Good thing God cards don't have to worry about type advantage. Because they always have the type advantage. Not really, it's just they like kind of ignore that mechanic. Damn, one shot. Dual victory. Your deck capacity increased by one. 50 domino was attained. Takriminos was obtained. Oh, that shitty card again. Most impressive. I need to go save in case I have to fight this dude again. Oops, did not mean to go to Canada. How come you can't go to the US? Whatever, no one wants to go see the Americans anyway. My points have increased. Would you like to say progress? Sure, why not? And go back to China. Ugh. Proceed to further without defeating me. Is there something I'm missing? Alright, after this, if it doesn't let me actually go past, I'm just going to turn this off and. Uh. Probably do something else. I don't know. I'll put this video up and see if anyone in the comments can tell me what's up. Uses anti. The people who usually watch these videos know more than I do. Crap, it's that guy again. Whoa, what's with this hand, yo? Uh, activate effect. Trap master puts down an acid trap hole. Acid trap hole is pretty legit. Turn end. I was not expecting that multiply combo going into that other thing. Wire trap should be able to take out the other dude. Should totally make wire trap a real card. That would be totally legit. Tribute this dude. Go into Dark Flare Knight. Dark Flare Knight is awesome. Oh, keep thinking he's better than he is. That's right, he only has 3,000 life points. Oh, I love on, what is it, like one of the Tag Force games where you have to like, go to this duel little section where you have to like cross bridges and fight these people and they all have like super low life points so the best thing you can do is like build a burn deck because you can easily do like 3,000 points of damage in a turn or two. Shoot! Crap. 
Damn it. Now I have to wait until my next turn to win. Ugh. Yami was activated, blah blah blah. Spellcasters is going to attack, then kill himself with a torrental. Nope, he's not. Damn it. Stop not doing what I want you to do. Mm, Mammoth Graveyard's End. Effect is really annoying, but it's so good. It's such a good card. How about I just attack with this dude? Because, oh, it's a Karibo. What a waste of time. Mammoth Graveyard. Dual victory. Deck pass increased by 1. 50 domino was obtained. Multiply was obtained. That's cool, I guess. Most impressive. Take this Karibo. Seriously, another fucking Karibo? Come on. Oh my god, no way. Okay, I'm done. If any of you guys know what I have to do to get past this, or if I just have to keep dueling them, let me know, because I'm going to go, like, watch anime or something.